Our universe is vast, an endless expanse filled with countless stars and galaxies. It beckons us to explore its mysteries, to venture into the unknown and uncover its secrets. For decades, we have dreamt of reaching distant stars, of traveling beyond our solar system. Now, NASA is exploring a revolutionary engine that could make this dream a reality, pushing the boundaries of space travel. Imagine a future where humans could travel at near-light speeds, crossing vast distances in a fraction of the time. This is the promise of NASA's ambitious research, a vision of interstellar travel within our grasp. The potential of such an engine is staggering, offering possibilities we once thought were science fiction. It could cut down travel time to distant stars from millennia to years, making interstellar journeys feasible. Imagine reaching Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor, within a human lifetime, a journey that could redefine our place in the universe. This technology could revolutionize space exploration, opening new frontiers for humanity. It could open up a new era of discovery and understanding of our place in the cosmos, expanding our knowledge exponentially. The challenges, however, are equally immense, requiring unprecedented innovation and collaboration. The engine would require enormous amounts of energy, far beyond what we currently harness. It pushes the boundaries of our current understanding of physics, challenging us to rethink what is possible. Yet the pursuit of such groundbreaking technology is a testament to human ingenuity, a drive that has always propelled us forward. It reflects our innate desire to explore the unknown, to push beyond the horizon and discover what lies beyond. The story of NASA's near light speed engine begins with the controversial EM drive. This concept, first proposed in the late 1990s, claimed to produce thrust without any propellant. It seemingly violated Newton's third law of motion. This law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The EM drive's proposed mechanism involved bouncing microwaves within a specially shaped container. This, it was argued, would create thrust by interacting with the quantum vacuum of space. The scientific community remained skeptical. The lack of a clear, scientifically accepted explanation fueled the debate. Despite the controversy, NASA's EagleWorks laboratories conducted tests on the EM drive. These tests produced intriguing results, showing a small but measurable thrust. However, these results were met with caution. Many argued that the measurements could be due to experimental error. The EM drive, despite its controversy, sparked a global wave of research. Scientists in China, Germany, and the United Kingdom initiated their own investigations into this perplexing concept. The dream of propellantless propulsion, with its potential for revolutionizing space travel, proved too alluring to ignore. This international interest underscores the importance of pushing the boundaries of science. Even if the EM drive ultimately proves to be a dead end, the research it has inspired could lead to unexpected breakthroughs. It highlights the value of questioning established theories and exploring radical ideas. The pursuit of near light speed travel extends beyond the EM drive. NASA and other space agencies are actively exploring a range of advanced propulsion concepts. These include ion propulsion, nuclear thermal propulsion, and even more exotic ideas like the Alcubierre warp drive. Section 4. Ion Propulsion From Sci-Fi to Spacecraft Ion propulsion, once relegated to the realm of science fiction, has now become a fascinating reality. This groundbreaking technology is already being used for long-duration space missions, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. It offers incredible efficiency compared to traditional chemical rockets, making it a game-changer in space exploration. Ion engines work by electrically charging atoms, creating ions, which are the building blocks of this advanced propulsion system. These ions are then accelerated through a magnetic field, producing thrust that propels the spacecraft forward. While this thrust is very small, it can be sustained for extended periods, allowing for continuous acceleration. This makes ion propulsion ideal for deep space missions, where long-term efficiency is crucial. NASA's Dawn spacecraft, powered by an ion engine, provided stunning images of the asteroid Vesta and the dwarf planet Ceres, showcasing the engine's capabilities. 
This mission demonstrated the immense potential of ion propulsion for exploring our solar system and beyond. However, ion engines are not without their limitations, and it's important to understand these constraints. The small thrust means that they are not suitable for rapid acceleration or for escaping Earth's gravity, which requires more powerful propulsion methods. Section 5. Nuclear Thermal Propulsion – A Powerful Leap Forward Nuclear thermal propulsion offers a more powerful alternative to chemical rockets and ion engines. This technology uses a nuclear reactor to heat a propellant, such as hydrogen, to extremely high temperatures. The heated propellant is then expelled through a nozzle, generating thrust. Nuclear thermal propulsion could significantly reduce travel times within our solar system. It could enable missions to Mars in a fraction of the time required by current technology. The increased power would also allow for larger payloads, enabling more ambitious missions. However, nuclear thermal propulsion also faces significant challenges. These include the weight of the reactor, the safety concerns associated with nuclear technology, and the political sensitivities surrounding the use of nuclear power in space. Section 6. The Helical Engine – Surfing the Waves of Spacetime one of the most intriguing concepts for near light speed travel is the helical engine. This theoretical engine, proposed by NASA engineer Dr. Harold Sonny White, exploits the physics of spacetime itself. It aims to achieve near light speeds by creating a warp bubble. The helical engine concept is based on the idea of distorting spacetime around a spacecraft. It would contract spacetime in front of the spacecraft and expand it behind. This would, in theory, allow the spacecraft to surf on the fabric of spacetime, achieving speeds that approach the speed of light. This concept, while theoretically possible, faces enormous challenges. It requires exotic matter with negative mass energy density, something that has never been observed. The energy requirements for creating and manipulating a warp bubble are also astronomical. Section 7 a future among the stars the promise of interstellar travel the quest for near light speed travel is a testament to human ambition and our relentless pursuit of the unknown it reflects our desire to push the boundaries of knowledge and explore the universe venturing into realms we have only dreamed of while the challenges are immense so are the potential rewards promising discoveries that could change our understanding of existence Imagine a future where we can travel to other star systems, visiting planets that orbit distant suns. We could search for life beyond Earth, finding new forms of life that could teach us more about our own origins. We could unravel the mysteries of the universe, understanding phenomena that have puzzled scientists for centuries. The development of near light speed travel would be a defining moment in human history, a leap forward akin to the moon landing. It would mark the beginning of a new era of exploration and discovery, opening up possibilities we can scarcely imagine. Even if we never achieve true light speed, the technologies we develop along the way will undoubtedly transform our understanding of the universe, leading to breakthroughs in other fields. They will pave the way for new discoveries and innovations, pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and forever altering our place in the cosmos, making us true citizens of the stars.